this parliament has pushed the biggest number of bills in the history of Ugandan parliaments. And you know, the first work, the first responsibility, the first duty of parliament is legislation. So to the extent of legislation, we have done our work. While it may have passed many bills, many more are still pending, among them the controversial anti-homosexuality bill, the marriage and divorce bill, and the HIV AIDS control bill. In the case of the marriage and divorce bill, that one I, I, I'm happy to inform Ugandans, and especially the women of Uganda who have expressed so much support and interest in the bill, that that bill is now ready. It will be submitted to the Speaker on Monday. The marriage, I mean the anti-homosexuality bill, we are also working on it. And, uh, we shall thereafter immediately compile a report. We want to try as much as possible to ensure that these bills get out of the committee. And hopefully the speaker will get uh, space for them on the order paper. Given the short time left to the expiry of the 8th parliament, it remains to be seen how urgently the House will deal with them at the last minute. And uh, I think Article 77, the term of Parliament is five years. So once that term expires, whatever has remained and, um, unresolved within that Parliament expires with it. I think on the logic that there is going to be a new government with a, uh, you know, a new president, in theory and practice, we are going to have a fresh Parliament with new members, with a fresh mandate. So, representing the people, so we cannot now commit them on the, on, on, on the business that we are doing now. This afternoon, the House passed yet another motion urging the government to find a solution to the current high inflation and to probe the use of excessive force by the police during the work-to-work -work protests. The reports are expected back in two weeks. But while one view is that there will be no implication since the motion has been passed, another is that the next parliament will not have the authority to ask government to act on these reports. I am afraid uh, that there may not be adequate time for government to respond to that motion, that resolution. And uh, in the next parliament, we have no mandate to look into that other motion. So if government, if the remaining time government cannot take action, then maybe the next parliament, if the condition still pertains, it will not bar a member or government to come up with a fresh position. Members of the ninth parliament are expected to be sown in from the 16th to the 18th of this month and then start business on the 19th, the election of the speaker and his or her deputy. Agnes Nandutu. NTV Parliament.